evening, everyone. It's Anzac weekend, day 32 in lockdown. Welcome to our first ever instalment of the Suburbs on Sunday show. It took us a while, but we got there in the end. It's very cool to have you all here tonight, though, and our object is to bring you up close and personal with the faces, the people, the players that bring the wonderful club of Eastern Suburbs together. So tonight on the show, we have a couple of characters, as we can see here tonight. They're top players, though, as well. <laughs> you may or may not know them. We've got Martin Bueno and Stephen Hoyle. So we've got a bit of a um, global show for you tonight, in fact. So on the menu, it will be sausages and mash and pasta. Yeah. All right. Well, yeah. well, let me introduce you. We've got Stephen Hoyle, who is uh, from the UK with a strong British accent. He's just fresh to Eastern Suburbs in the last year or so, and he is a featured player in our National League side. He's not a bad coach either. We've also got Martin Bueno. He's a very intriguing player on the football field with an even stronger accent, this time Italian. He's our National League top goal scorer and club jokester, Martin Bueno. Thanks, Thank so guys, much. for coming on the show. Sorry for the for the technical difficulties there. No, no it's, all right, it's, all right. it's, a it's a pleasure for us to be on the show, to be honest. We yeah. are so happy. Eh? As, our, happy? as our rates gone through the roof, because we've been doing an extra 20 minutes. Eh? No, 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 so no, you, no, better, no. you better get, your, yeah. get it out. Yeah, OK, it sounds good then. It's, it's good to have you on the show. Of course, we're going to have some technical difficulties. That was always going to happen, wasn't it? We're all right. We're all right. Right now, it's time to enjoy. Okay? Yeah. But how are you guys? How, what have you been up to and uh, how have you been keeping yourself occupied in level four? Martin, how have you been? Oh, I've been uh, I've been enjoying a lot, to be honest. I think I'm going to miss this lockdown. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to miss this lockdown. The first week was a was a little bit hard, like a first two days, but right now, like uh, I get used to and uh, and I'm enjoying yeah training eh? yeah training like training of course like always serious. always training a lot a lot training that's good a little to bit hear. of PlayStation FIFA and uh, yeah filming his videos yeah it's just filming a lot a lot videos and obviously just doing the doing the show and enjoying the time that is good eh? and you how can about you the how about you it's all right. I'm looking forward to getting back on the grass because I've not played for a while. But yeah, it's it's um, all good. You, yeah. you can only you can only deal with what you've got, can't yeah. you? So we'll make yeah. the most of it and enjoy yourself. Yeah, exactly. Well, I was going to ask you guys. Um, you obviously played alongside each other for parts of the season when you were in and out of injury and whatnot. But um, you're also obviously good mates outside of football, as we can see. You're bubbling together tonight. Yeah. How has that flat been? Flat are you sick of each yeah, other yet? Flat <laughs> flat <laughs> so you're not sick of each other? Uh, yeah, not really. Martin talks too loud on the phone. I think his mum's listening. So nah, I've, I've, no, I've no, never no. been. I've never been as ex. I don't know. I've never been that excited to speak to my family. Every time he speaks Spanish, he, he shouts. But that's no, all right. no, no. I have one problem. I have one problem. I'm playing. I'm, I'm playing FIFA with my friends. And when I lost, it's a big problem. Yeah, it's a big deal. But no, no. But you're not here. Apart, I'm, apart from him being too loud, we're all right. Eh? Yeah, we're all right. Yeah, and the steward has been always in the same place. That is a little bit piss me off sometimes. <laughs> like he's always in the same place, like a cat. But it's all right. It's all right. I just accept that and get on. Get yeah, on with this. Yeah. yeah. Maybe sometimes if if we, we do each other's dishes, we get a little bit annoyed. But that's yeah. it. That's it. Everything else is oh, good. Yeah, that, that's good. Pretty sound then. Yeah, not too um, bad. Not too so, bad. Over a month ago now, New Zealand football announced that the ISPS Honda Premiership would not continue and they um, gave Auckland City the championship. What were your thoughts on this and also the rest of the squad's thoughts? I don't know. I can't speak for the squad. I can't speak for that. Enough. I can't speak for me. Yeah. To be honest, I need to be human, eh? Yeah. We, well, we, we, we wanted to be, just a little bit. The boys, the boys wanted to go into the semi-final, didn't they, and, and see what they can do, but I think over the course of the season, you can't really argue with all yeah. was top of the regular yeah, no, season, no, no, so yeah, it is yeah. what it is, you know? You can look at it from both sides. We obviously wanted to play the semis and the finals. Yeah, I was just coming back and maybe would have got involved and yeah. he was on fire, so it would have been good to, to play. No, obviously, obviously when 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 they give when, when they give to us the news about that the league is gonna was cancelled, the first thought was oh, a little bit like a... Yeah, you just want to play the game. Yeah, you yeah. just want to play, you know, you want to finish. 
you want to finish. You don't want, you never want to finish the season like that, but I can understand. I yeah, can understand why. World, yeah, yeah. yeah look, at, look at the world. Yeah, so looking back at that season, that's just been, you obviously had the ISPS Hunter Premiership and also the trip over to Papua New Guinea for the IFC Champions League. What were the highlights for you guys? Steven, you were obviously injured for a, a big part of the season, but what were some of your highlights? I think I enjoyed coming up to coming up to suburbs, living in Auckland for the first time and getting involved. I, I want to get better as a coach as well and seeing what they do with the kids and that here, it's, it's real good. And then I get to live with characters like Martin and, and have some fun. So it's obviously I want to play, but it's been all right. And I've been I've been enjoying watching the boys do all right and make the playoffs. So yeah, there's, there's, there's plenty more to it than just playing football. So I've enjoyed it, yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'll be back soon there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he, he's, he's happy if he didn't have to share the goals. If I was playing, he'd have to share half his goals. So, so that's all right. <laughs> So, so what would be your overall highlight, Martin? The highlight? Oh, it was pretty good. Like, the, the first half of the season, I forgot everything right now. I don't remember nothing. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, but the second half of the season was pretty, was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty good. It was a few, a few good moments, but obviously the PNG. I think that not just for me. I think that for everyone. Les, Les Michael is going to be the, the highlight of the... Of the of the year, then. Yeah, fair enough. No, right. I think so. Like, obviously, me, like we don't know, we don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe it's gonna be, maybe like we don't have news about what is gonna happen with the quarterfinal, all this stuff. So at the moment, it's been the it's been the highlight, the PNG, amazing time, unbelievable, so good. Yeah, yeah, it was it was a very very cool, rewarding trip. Now, yeah. you're both obviously very se seasoned professional players, but where did it all kind of start for you guys in your footballing career? And what do you think was like the turning point in your path that made you realise you're going to end up being being a somewhat pretty good player? We'll start with you, Martin. Yeah, good question. What a question, eh? Go on. Good question for a Sunday. Oh, yeah, no. One second. I'm, try I'm, trying to, yeah, I'm trying to survive with the Steve Ambos here. Yeah. Uh, There's not much room for both of us, eh? I've got a big, yeah. big head. <laughs> Go on, mate, what do what you think? Uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, when I was playing in Uruguay, of course, like I, I was doing all right in my country in the in professional level in Uruguay, and then I thought uh, that I could do a little bit good in the football. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I was just, I guess I was playing and enjoying it, enjoying it growing up. And if you're from where I'm from in England, everybody plays us. So. Said before, if you build a tennis court, they'll just play football. So we were all playing, and then at school, I was decent and one of the better kids. So I just carried on playing and playing and playing, and here we are. I played because I enjoyed it and see where. And this is a, where I got to. Yeah. Unfortunately, not higher, yeah. but, yeah. but it's this high, you know. So just this is it. Wasn't a really nice answer. Hey, really nice answer, eh? It was yeah, it was very nice. Stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's so strange. Good. Yeah. Now, were there any sacrifices you guys had to make growing up along the way, or perhaps your parents made in order to achieve what you have? Yeah, do you want me to go this time? Or? To me, it's, look, no, to me, it's, to to me I, don't like to call, I don't like to call sacrifice because I think that when you are doing something that you really love, like I don't feel that it's sacrifice because sacrifice maybe is, is other stuff that I, I personally. I've been, I have been in a in a really tough moment, like when I was in Italy with no with no food and no money and nothing. Obviously, it was hard. To, was a tough moment, but I never feel like I was a sacrifice. Because you want to play football. Yeah, because I want because I love to play football. I'm doing something that I love, and I feel like I'm grateful for do that because I'm doing that. Maybe sacrifice is gonna be if I'm working, if I need to work 14 hours a day, uh, 14 hours a day because I need to feed my my kids. Yeah, I don't have kids though. You have no? No. Okay. You know what? You just you, mate, around the house. Like, hey, that's a I need to start crying. That's a beautiful answer. No, that's a good answer. <laughs> that's a beautiful answer. Here we go. <laughs> I have something, eh? I have something, eh? Yeah, I guess, I don't know. My, me and my brother both played, so I think that, I think Adam, is Adam Thurston on the chat? He's, he's, he's here somewhere. No, he's too my short. He's too short. He's too short for me in the chat. <laughs> so they, um, I, don't, I, I think I think my sister and my, probably my mum and dad made the most sacrifice because my brother both played, so. They spent the time, you know, in the car at night driving us to train and then on a weekend travelling up and down England watching both of us play football. So she probably didn't have as much time for hobbies and stuff that she might have done because me and my brother were going everywhere playing football. But I'd agree with him, like, there's some things, you, you know, you can't, some things you can't do while you're trying to be a professional footballer, but if you can make it to that, then it's better than 
better than anything else, isn't it? So, yeah, 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 yeah. You, when you get there, you try and stay in it, and then hopefully when you're somewhere like suburbs, you try and get the next generation to make professional football. Good on you what's guys. Good, what's, what's good, Ali? What's Ali? You were my answer, but his answer was all right. But you go first, so it's easy, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can listen. No, but I already knew that, man. I was thinking this answer. <laughs> Now, I want to know, I want to talk a little bit about the new coaching on demand program. You guys have obviously been quite highly involved in that because you're both coaches at the club. But, but tell us a little bit about it. What would you kind of say to a younger Lily White about this coaching on demand program and any advice you would give them? Go on, I'll go. I'll go first this time. Let him, let him go second for once. They, um, <laughs> I don't know. From from my point of view, I want to get back to playing after. So you know, I've got you've got. I'm semi-retired, I guess, at the minute, coming off the injury. So you've got to do something to get back playing. And then, if you know, he scored a lot of national league goals more than anyone at the club, and more than any junior and youth player of the club scored in their career. So if he's out on the grass doing the drills that I, that we're coaching and then showing for the kids to share with the kids, if he's doing them every day, then then obviously the kids should be doing them, shouldn't they? Because it, it helps you and it makes you better. But then again. You sat around the house all day. No, yeah. What else have you got to do? You know, it's a, get yourself out there and, and enjoy yourself and, and get some activity in. It's good for the brain as well as the yeah, body, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Just for enjoy the moment as well, because important. Obviously, when you are in this kind of situation, you are thinking, you are thinking when is when is uh, when this is gonna be finished. But you forgot to enjoy this moment, you know. And this moment is only important because we don't know what's gonna happen. We don't know, we don't know nothing about the future. So. The, the best thing to do right now is enjoy the moment. And if we are trying to give to you guys something to enjoy, it, playing I, football. I don't think that with that as well, I don't, on this point, I don't think you have this much time really or yeah. to yourself. Again, like the kids are not at school and stuff where they'd usually be at school. So if you just want to get better as a footballer individually with your technique and stuff, what a time to do it. You can go down the field, yeah, yeah. do the videos all day if you want to do them, you know. You've not, you've not got to go to school all day and meet other requirements that you maybe usually have to... Me. Enjoy the football, so yeah. if you want to play football, enjoy it and have some fun with it. You have a lot of hairs, man, when you see a dog. I like that, eh? Yeah, that's cool. Good on you guys. He said hairs, mate. He said hearts. I thought he said hairs. He was just kidding. Now, I've prepared a little, a little quick fire quiz, and we're going to see who will win out of you two. Um, yeah. so there's there's five Spanish, questions, yeah. and I need you to um, have like a little ear buzzer. So, like, and you've got to get a little noise, so it might be like ding or like. Mm, you know? Okay, that can be your noise. I'm just gonna. That, that's gonna take you ages. I'm just gonna go with. Okay, nice. All right, so five questions, and they're gonna be real fast. Okay. Oh, here we All go. Right. Competitive. Oh, one second. Hold on. 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 How many titles did the women's premier side win in 2019? Two. The Cup and Correct. the League. Yes. Well, well, hey, one second. He's going to have me. Yeah. He's going to have me. Can you name what those titles were? Uh, the Kate Shepherd Cup and the Northern Premier League title. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Well Don't done. kill me with these well questions. Done. Hey, come on. All right, one point. Before the league, the A League was put on hold. Where did the Wellington Phoenix stand on the table? You watch more than I do then. Six. Uh, four, uh, and third. 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 Yeah, that's correct. One point. Oh, come on. I, was, I, I only watch him when he's got him on. <laughs> All right. Uh, third question: Who was the youngest signed player for the Eastern Suburb National League team just the season just finished? Oh, Jola, Campbell, not Campbell. not him. Campbell, not him. <laughs> oh, Campbell, well done. <laughs> Who won yeah. that? Campbell, no, no, Campbell, Steven, should, Campbell, should, Campbell should be that. Campbell, hey, well, Jola's twenty-seven. No, he, he looks like. Campbell's the, the only. Ah, yeah, he looks like a twenty-seven. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Campbell's yeah. been around for about ten years in this league. He was playing when he was seven, I think. So. Yeah. No, no, I know. He's a good player, isn't he? All right. Yeah. Okay, so it's two-one to Stephen. How many teams were in the ISPS Honda Premier League for the 2019? Ten. 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 He's got it wrong. Ten. He said nine first. Three one me. Okay, three <laughs> one seven. <laughs> no, sorry, but we play against nine. Sorry, yeah. He, uh, he yeah. forgot to count himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, yeah, count yeah. himself first. So I'm quite surprised. All right, last question. Stephen's already won, but who is the current top goal scorer of the EPL League in the 2019 season? I'm going to say Vardy. 
Thanks for coming. You can tell I don't just, speak English. Hey, you can tell just runs around on the field and yeah, uses I don't a speak, brain, eh? I don't yeah. Speak well done. So you take out that, that championship this week, Stephen. So I have a few more questions. We've got three fan questions for you. The first one is from Xander Hart. He asks, what your most proud moment is and has bought, has been in your footballing career to date? Apart from meeting Xander, to you, yeah. So, um, <laughs> both of us. Yeah, he's gonna answer first. Ah, oh, proudest moment. <laughs> it's hard to. I don't know. Oh, I'd say I'd say getting a getting a scholarship, getting a YTS at sixteen. So going full time with football at sixteen and leaving school, I was nervous whether I'd get one or not. So yeah. when I got one, I was. Happy. Go. No, I don't know. What yeah, about the main man goal scorer from Uruguay in the world and stuff? Oh, uh, yeah, can we can yeah, come in this moment? Yeah, this moment. Sorry, this moment. Right now. Okay. Good on you. Second fan question was from Coach Sims. Coach Sims is obviously the club strength and conditioning coach. Huge uh, fan so of us as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge fan of us Love our work hard. Coach yeah. Sims asked you... Uh, you both oh, Eastern Suburbs. You both are new to Eastern Suburbs this season. What do you, why did you choose Eastern Suburbs and what do you like about the club? Oh, this is a huge, question, huge part yeah. of it was because he was here, weren't it? Yeah, obviously. Was, yeah. I worked with him in 2015. What a guy! Yeah, just well, wanted it's... to see him again, drinking a coffee or a Red Bull at 6:30 in the morning. <laughs> but why Suburbs? I tell you, I think it's the premier club in the country. For a proper club, from the for the juniors to the youth, to yeah, all the way through. It's like it's not a franchise; it's the biggest club in the country. So that speaks for itself, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's unbelievable. Obviously, I have a lot, a lot of respect, and and like I care about the club that I used to be, and I have all my love for for them. But I just this club to win is unbelievable. It's one of the top club, top clubs in New Zealand. It's unbelievable. Like how you feel when you are here as well. How they treat you is. Yeah, they're situ situated yeah. in quite a it's nice area as well. It's a it's a stone throw from the beach, so that can't be bad either, can it? So no, yeah, got a bit of everything. That's pretty nice. The top club, yeah, yeah. Definitely and we've got, we've got one more fan question for you. It's an undisclosed question, but I'll tell you who it was from. It was from Adam Thurston, your oh, mate, okay. and he he asked, as you're both strikers, who is a better goal scorer? Who's a better finisher? No, I don't know. I can't really speak right now, yeah. can I? Because she's been scoring and no, I've been no, yeah. sat on my boat. So I don't. To be honest, look, I I, I, sh I compete by myself, and he does the same as well. Yeah. So say Aaron that he try he yeah, he can try to compete. Tell, with yeah, him, yeah. Tell him whatever he tries to do, he's never going to be important more important to either of us than we are to each other. Yeah. And that's all he needs to know. Oh, but me. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we're gonna we've got. We're gonna end on um we're gonna end this live on a Bonnie a couple of Bonnie's burning questions because we can't we can't not. So the um I've got two for you. We just spoke earlier briefly about um Auckland City and how they've been given the title of the ISPS under premiership. Do you think that Liverpool should be awarded the title of the EPL because they are clear runaway leaders? I've got it. I've got a serious answer to this one. Yeah, come on, Nick. Yeah, I've no, got a serious yeah. answer to this one. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give my, my, my one. I don't care. Go on. No, yeah. Oh, you want to go on me? No, yeah, I just I don't, I don't know. It's... You don't care. Martin don't care. Okay. And I, think, I think they deserve Sorry. it. And it's harder for them because they're not Man City, Man United. Teams who've won it recently, Chelsea. So it's harder for them because they've had to wait 30 years. But, and they deserve it. But if you give it them, then where does it stop? Because the integrity of the whole competition is ruined. So this is a serious answer. Yeah. So if you give it, that, do you, how do you decide who's second, third, fourth? How do you decide who gets relegated? How do you decide all these things? Do you know? And it'll always have a little asterisk next to it. So if I was Liverpool, I'd want to win it properly. But they deserve it. Fair is that right? that's, that's a very good answer. Okay, we've got one more final Bonnie's burning question for you. If we were to go backwards and go back into lockdown level four hopefully we don't but if we were would you choose to re-bubble together or would you prefer to choose someone else from eastern suburbs to bubble with he pays some of the rent so yeah. i keep him for that reason no yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we've been all right but you're not sick yeah. of each other that's good yeah. yeah we have some good dis we have some good discussions around the house and stuff don't yeah. we 
and we we do all right. We he's you know he's, my, imagine this quality with Michael Bilti. Yeah, no, no way, no way. No, 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 no. Give me Steve. Give me Steve all my life, please. Say. If it, right. yeah, someone like AT AT would be walking around shirtless, making me feel bad all day. So I don't yeah. want him either. Adam, if Adam was here, I might step on him. Dad nah. gonna drop everything. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. Nah, no, I'm, I'm all right as I am. No, but then he's good for cleaning like, the, 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 sh the smaller spots of the house because he's really... The bits you can't get to. Yeah, because he's really close to the floor, so he can, he can you know, he can whip everything. Kelvin and Kelvin will never get out of the shower. My electricity bill, my heating bill will be through the roof. <laughs> he's always in there. So there's not many people left, is there? No, no. I'm trying to look for everyone. The kids are the kids. I can't, I, I don't want to go with Joel yeah, or Campbell yeah, Bernie. I'll be watching CBBs all day or cartoons. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, yeah. fair all right, enough. Right. No, no, yeah, we're all right, yeah. Enjoy. All right, well, well, thanks for answering all my questions and getting involved. Um, it's been great to have you on the show tonight, and thank you to all you followers for bearing with us when we had those technical difficulties at the start. But, of yeah. course, that was going to happen on the first week. But I do trust that you've enjoyed the show, and we would love your input, any comments, requests for next week comment down below and let us know because we'd love we'd love to hear from you guys. Again, thank you to you guys, Martin and Stephen. It's great to have you here and thanks for being awesome guests. Don't forget everyone to like, follow us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel ESAFC TV. Yeah, thanks for that all. Did it in the end. Cheers guys. Thanks yeah, cheers guys. Much. Have a good all evening. Right. Stay I see you later. Bye. Aquí tiene a Popo. Aquí tiene a Popo.